as efficient as the protection and control components may be, vulnerabilities in the operating system and programs nevertheless need to be fixed. Certainly, the administrator is able to take care of that, but in many cases Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud helps to simplify this task. This chapter explains how to use Endpoint Security Cloud to detect and fix vulnerabilities. To fix Windows vulnerabilities, it is sufficient to regularly install the updates issued by Microsoft. The Windows Update System service takes care of that. To fix vulnerabilities in applications by other manufacturers, it is usually sufficient to install a new program version or a patch issued by the manufacturer. The main problem is how to automate the whole process of regular third-party software updating. While the administrator is provided with the necessary tools, domain policies, for regular installation of Microsoft updates, regular updates of third-party applications require a lot of additional work. Meanwhile, even if the administrator uses domain policies, they cannot control even installation of critical updates, whether it is completed on all computers or updates downloading was interrupted by the user. The same concerns third-party applications, new program versions can also be installed periodically using domain policies, but the question is, which versions to install? How can the administrator find out which programs are installed on which computers and which of them are vulnerable? This is where Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud proves most useful. The administrator can use its patch management capabilities to monitor the updates available for the operating systems and Microsoft applications, and also vulnerabilities in the third-party programs installed on the computers. The vulnerability assessment task can run daily or weekly, depends on the selected schedule, on the client computers and servers to provide up-to-date information about operating system security issues and vulnerable third-party applications. The patch management task enforces the client computers and servers to download and install necessary patches for the operating system or third-party applications. The vulnerability assessment and patch management functionality fully depends on the available license. To be able to use all the capabilities to the full extent, Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Plus license is necessary. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud looks for the information about available updates for Windows and other Microsoft software and also about vulnerabilities within Microsoft and third-party applications. Some of the Windows updates fix the discovered vulnerabilities, thus, several issues can be covered at a time. Kaspersky Security Network Agent gathers information about the updates of the operating system and Microsoft software that are installed already and yet need to be installed. Kaspersky Endpoint Security does not participate in this process. Kaspersky Security Network Agent receives information about available updates either from the Windows Updates service, which connects directly to Microsoft Online Update servers or from Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud, which check Kaspersky Lab Advisory DB, the proprietary threat and vulnerability database. Based on the data about available vulnerabilities and updates, Kaspersky Security Network Agent defines which updates are installed and which are not, and informs the Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud. The Kaspersky Security Network Agent also gathers information about vulnerabilities, it automatically monitors program start and additionally scans all programs installed on the client computer according to a specified schedule. As we mentioned earlier, the information about vulnerabilities is obtained from the Kaspersky Lab Advisory DB, made up by Kaspersky Lab experts, based on in-house analytics of the most typical threats and vulnerabilities to information systems. The information about vulnerabilities, available patches and updates is transferred from the client computers to the Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud server, where the administrator can view it, filter, and use for further vulnerability fixing. The data from the Kaspersky Lab database and Windows Update Metadata are used for fixing vulnerabilities. Windows Update Metadata maps the available Microsoft updates against the vulnerabilities that need to be fixed in Microsoft applications and operating systems. Kaspersky Lab Vulnerability Database provides similar information for other vendors. Windows Update Metadata is provided either by the Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud or by the local Windows Update service, depending on your organization settings. In the former case Kaspersky Security Cloud task loads metadata to the managed workspace. The information about relevant updates available is first downloaded to the managed workspace before being distributed to the client computers by the Kaspersky Security Network agents. It means that Kaspersky Security Network agents installed on the managed devices receives information about available updates from Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud, and then enforce local Windows Update services to connect to Windows Update servers and download necessary updates and patches. The installation process is not controlled by the Kaspersky Security Network agent. 
Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud uses vulnerability assessment task to enumerate all installed applications to define whether installed applications are outdated or vulnerable. And in case if there are some known vulnerabilities found, information about patching and updating third-party applications is delivered to Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud. To install required updates and fix vulnerabilities Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Administrator should schedule additional patch management task. We will talk about it in the demonstration video. Vulnerability assessment settings are located in the security management section. First of all, you need to set vulnerability assessment task schedule. You can run task daily or weekly, depends on your need and security policies of your organization. We recommend that you schedule vulnerability assessment scanning to run once a week. Scheduled vulnerability assessment scanning starts on the specified day and time and slows down the computer to some extent. Select the time when employees do not work, or when users do not perform any resource-consuming operations. By default, a single task is created for all managed Windows computers in the workspace. In this demonstration we choose lunchtime to perform the task. When vulnerability assessment task has been applied to the managed device Kaspersky Security Center vulnerability and patch management component executable file, vapn.exe, is presented in the list of the running processes. After the task completes, the information about found vulnerabilities and updates is displayed in the vulnerability assessment section. Software vulnerabilities node lists information on all the vulnerabilities found across the network. The administrator can filter by vendor, all, Microsoft or third-party, severity level, critical, high or warning, and plan to fix, planned, partially planned and not planned. As a side note here, severity level is a specified by Kaspersky Lab Experts parameter based on the analysis of the particular vulnerability and threats related to it. It defines the danger level the vulnerability exposes the system to. For example, if malware exists that exploits this vulnerability, its severity level is critical. The high and warning levels indicate the relevant level of potential security risk associated with the vulnerability, although Kaspersky Lab have yet to see these vulnerabilities being exploited. Click the vulnerability name to see detailed information about it, severity level, the number of devices where it has been found, the vulnerable application, detection date and time, typically. It is the time when the vulnerability assessment task was run. Click the View Patches link to consult the list of patches that fix this vulnerability. Most of the Microsoft updates and third-party applications have license agreements. The administrator must accept the agreement prior to installing a patch. Otherwise, the installation will remain in the plan status, and the patch won't be installed even after the patch management task successfully completes on the managed devices. Different versions of the same operating system may need different patches. In this case, Kess Cloud will detect the versions of operating systems installed on the devices to help the administrator select the necessary patch. The general vulnerability status of the network can be evaluated using the Vulnerabilities Report. It represents computers' distribution by the severity level of the vulnerabilities detected on them. A vulnerability assessment task only searches the managed Windows devices for vulnerabilities, but doesn't patch them. In a medium-sized enterprise, the administrator might need to automate patch installation. To achieve this goal, you can configure a patch management task in Kess Cloud. A patch management task in Kess Cloud enforce Windows managed devices to search and download updates and patches for Windows or third-party applications from the Internet. A patch management task settings are located in the security management section. Follow the patch installation settings link to open the task settings. Patch and update installation parameters are regulated by the installation mode specified in the task properties. A rule may belong to one of the following types, install all patches, install approved patches only. Install approved patches only. This mode means that the administrator is supposed to study all available updates, accept the license agreement, and assign the approved status to some of them. This parameter is enabled by default. It means that if the administrator doesn't approve patches for installation, no patches will be installed. 
and its installation status changes to approval pending. To simplify installation, you can select the option to install all patches. In this case, all available patches will be installed automatically except those where you must accept the license agreement first, which is typically required when installing a new version of third-party software. Installation area parameter allows administrator to configure on which types of the device's workstations or servers install the updates and patches. By default all devices parameter is selected. To enable patch management task, administrator should select a schedule when task will be executed. There are two possible options, daily or weekly. If no schedule is selected task will remain disabled. Since the same VAPN.exe process is involved in both patch management and vulnerability search, the patch management task must not run at the same time as the vulnerability assessment task. Please configure the schedule carefully to run the patch management task only after the vulnerability assessment task completes. If the postpone installation until the device is turned off option is enabled, patches are installed when the device is restarted or shut down. Otherwise, patches are installed according to a schedule. Use this option if installing the patches might affect the device performance. Operating System Restart option Select what to do if the patch installation requires the restart of the device operating system. Three possible options are available. Do not restart the device, restart the device, in this case user's device will be restarted automatically, prompt the user for action. The restart reminder is displayed on the screen of the user device, prompting the user to restart it manually. If the restart the device after it is idle for more than 30 minutes option is enabled, after prompting the user, the application forces restart of the operating system upon expiration of the specified time interval. When the patch management task completes successfully after the necessary patches have been installed, Kaspersky Security Network Agent will prompt the end user to restart the machine. The end user can choose to postpone the restart for 30 minutes. If there are several patches to be installed, additional restarts might be requested. To ensure that all the patches and updates have been installed, open programs and features and check that new updates are present in the list. To make sure that all patches have been installed and there are no more vulnerabilities, navigate to the Vulnerability Assessment section of the Security Management Settings. Verify that there are no vulnerabilities in the list and the counter shows zero. Additionally, you can consult the Vulnerabilities Report to make sure that you have nothing to worry about. Pay attention that counter of devices without vulnerabilities is equal to the amount of managed Windows devices. Amount of the devices with vulnerabilities found is equal to zero.